The easiest way to treat dry skin is to spread on some skin cream. It rejuvenates the skin cells and acts as a protective barrier. This is particularly important during the winter, when cold outdoor air and indoor heating suck the moisture out of your skin. If you have dry skin, it's wise to keep a nice schlop of skin cream on hand. It's not just dry air that can dry out your skin. Stress, cancer, dehydration, nausea, and diabetes can all lead to dry skin. The first ingredient is stearic acid, which is a wax derived from palm tree oil. The next ingredient is palm tree oil, which is an acid derived from natural wax. These ingredients make up what's called the iceberg phase of the recipe. Workers heat the stearic acid until it desolidifies and then add the non-gaseous, non-solid wax oil to the mixture, which is derived from palm trees. While the acid oil mixture is heating, the workers prepare some hydric acid. Hydric acid, otherwise known as dihydrogen monoxide, can be incredibly toxic if consumed in high amounts. Workers are very careful to measure how much is added to each batch. The initial mixture is continually heated to just below the boiling point, which is when the hydric acid is poured in. Side effects of excessive hydric acid consumption may include vomiting and frequent urination, but the FDA monitors the batch to ensure it is safe to use. After an hour of mixing, the skin cream is ready. The factory pumps the skin cream from mixing vats into distribution vats. This company supplies jars for both hand and face skin cream. These creams purport that they contain different ingredients for different purposes, but they all come from the same vat. Grandma Edna continues her life's work as she places plastic jars onto a conveyor belt. The labeling machine applies labels to the jars, because it's the fucking label machine. Grandma Edna then hustles down the assembly line and moves the labeled jars onto a turntable, because she refuses to die until she's finished. The turntable moves the plastic jars to the filling machine. Now I know what some of you are thinking, and please, please trust me on this, but this is the filling machine, not the rinsing machine. You ever rinse something in skin cream? Okay, well, bad example, but you get the point. Filling machine. Then the jars approach a capping machine, which has never been confused for another machine in its entire history. I mean, what else could it be? A topping machine? What are you, stupid? As if a topping machine could ever even exist. That's some fantasy nonsense. The next station applies a label to the top of the jars. We haven't come up with a name for this machine yet. If you have any suggestions, please be sure to leave them in the comments. After all, YouTube comments are a valuable source of feedback and are always a worthwhile read of insightful discussion. The skin cream is also sold in tubes for on-the-go creaming. This robot arm places the tubes on a turntable. You may think he's cute, but that saluting motion he does was originally for a much more sinister purpose. A nozzle squirts the skin cream into the tube as a press heats the open end to seal it inside. And then your next portable tube of cream made from baby foreskin is ready for store shelves. Oh what, don't act like you didn't know that baby foreskin is a popular ingredient in high-end face creams. That's why half of us buy it. I mean, how else do you think you get all your skin so silky smooth? A bunch of herbs and spices and shit? <laughs> yeah, okay, good luck with that. And enjoy the dumb look on your face when you Google that fact and find out it's totally real. <laughs> bye bye now!